Champa here lost his nerve. Come on, I'm psyched to see how fast this thing is. Let's see how you like getting pushed around, Brett. Hey! What's up with this? Brett has been a bad boy. Brett needs a lesson. This court has no choice but to find you guilty of violating the school dress code. But, Clove, Your Honor, our heels are only a half inch higher than the code allows. Can't you give us a break? Well, considering the circumstances, I guess I can let you off with a suspended sentence. Objection, your dishonor. Ah! This is total favoritism. I agree. You're much too lenient to be a student court judge, Clover. I'm replacing you with Mandy. Ah! Thank you, Miss Brooks. I promise I'll restore dignity to this court. <laughs> and I'll restore integrity, too. This court finds all three of you in contempt and sentences you to three weeks of picking up trash. Next case. What? <laughs> Integrity. Ha! What a brown noser. Yeah. Who does she think she is? The Supreme Court? Ew. This is, like, supremely nasty. There must be a way to pick this stuff up faster. There is. Check it out. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Can't you get a normal office? Sorry, ladies, but we need you urgently. Fourteen hours ago, a computer trapped a student named Brett Brinkley on a Las Vegas roller coaster. <laughs> We've had two similar attacks. In Italy, a tourist was attacked by an airport baggage machine. And a computerized elevator at Silicon Valley High left the principal quite shook up. Yikes! More proof that climbing stairs is healthier. Your first stop is Las Vegas. Today's gadget menu includes the Koi Purse, Life Raft, Parachute. Oh, don't spray on that perfume, Alex. It's liquid nitrogen. It freezes steel, makes it as brittle as glass. Extremely cool. Careful, the hairdryer is an infrared heat ray, the stereo is a sonic disintegrator, and the camera fires a laser beam. <laughs> Guess I won't need film, <laughs> will I? <laughs> Looks like Brett's had enough fun. Get ready to grab him. Careful. Here he comes. Go time! Oh! Come on, pal. Time to give someone else a turn. Remind me to stick to the merry-go-round next time we go to an amusement park. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. How could a computer voice know your name? Search me. I'm on the football team, babe. I don't study computers or anything else. Football? Yeah, I bet you ace all your tests. I don't have to, babe. I just grab the nearest nerd and, uh, persuade him to help me. Well, speaking as a nerd, I'm starting to see why computers attack you. Whoa, what do you mean, computers? You, you talk like there's more than one. In case you haven't noticed, this hotel is holding the annual computerized gadget show. Why are they coming at me like that? Naughty, naughty, Brett. Your punishment isn't over. Okay, say cheese. Oopsie, wrong camera. Get out of the way! Brett has been a bad boy. Ah! Ah! Brett needs a lesson. Time for you to split, honey. Bad <laughs> okay, who's next? 
Jill, Alex, you got them all. It's like those computers knew Brett. We gotta get him somewhere safe. I'll have Whoop agents pick him up. We have to get to Italy before anything else happens to that gym coach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want some, Mr. Machine? <laughs> Victim number two, Coach Joe Hassler, has been laying low here on the Isle of Capri ever since he got baggage handled. Look, I've never been to Vegas. Mm. I don't know this Brett kid, and I don't want to go anywhere. You'll be safer at Whoop. But cars, planes, ships, they all have computer chips now. If computers are out to get me, how do I travel? Hmm. Hey, this is what I call low tech. This funicular railway is powered by a cable. No computer on board. Ah! Uh, Sam, does that go for the cable motors down in the station? I'm guessing the answer's no. You've been a bad boy, coach. Time for your punishment. question to ask a gym coach, but do you have any enemies? Only every kid I ever taught. Any who were good with computers? Well, I had this one geek running laps all last year. I forgot his name. He transferred to Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley High? Isn't that where victim number three is principal? That's it! The coach picks on kids at one school, Brett at another. What if they both bullied the same kid who's now at Silicon Valley? Time to pay a visit to Silicon Valley High. We can drop the coach off at Whoop on the way. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Every time I think Jerry can't come up with a more annoying way for us to travel, he outdoes himself. Wow. Silicon Valley High makes our school look so, so 20th century. How can we blend in so we don't look so suspicious? By not blending in. Let's take a backstage tour of their auditorium. Wow, look at all that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Principal Vegan is out sick today. Oh dear, can you help us, love? We're new exchange students. I'm Samantha from England. I am Alexandra from Russia. Is enrolling in school, Vivant. I am Clover Patra from Egypt. Hi, I I'm Adam Lewis. Those clothes look familiar. You've never uh, done a school play here, have you? Yet, we are just arriving. <laughs> Oh, a thousand pardons, Effendi. We wish to meet other students who are new here. Could we see your, how you say, database of new arrivals? Sure, let me input my password. Just don't tell the principal, okay? Chad. Chad stands for Computer Home Analyzer and Defender. My invention. He, it, can access any computer anywhere. Uh -huh. I spend a lot of time on Chad because Dad's always moving us. I guess we both know how hard it is to make friends when you're new in school. All those bullies and snobs. Yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I am very busy. Adam, 
I warned you about using my computer to download games or whatever it is you're doing. I'm revoking your access permanently. What? But, but Principal Vegan, you can't do that! No? Watch me. Now get out! And would you three explain? Mrs. Vegan, you shouldn't have come back. You're in huge danger. Danger? From who? Oh, man, I can't play with the school mainframe anymore, Chad. Don't worry, Adam. I already uploaded instructions to it. Vera Vegan won't bother us again. Hmm? Are your door locks computerized? Yes. Windows, too. Why do you ask? Ah! And your sprinklers? Hey, Chad, what's going on? Just a little prank, Adam. I'll show you when we get home. camera backstage when I changed clothes. Oh, no! And I left the boombox! Wait, I've still got my fanny pack. You've been a bad girl, Vera. Now I have to punish you. There's that creepy voice that loves to dish out punishment. You're worried about a copier? No! I I'm worried about a stapler! <laughs> Need to for long. In a minute, we're gonna run out of air. Sam, give me your pack. Hang on, we're hitting white water. Are you okay? I'm going to the faculty lounge. I just need to faint for a while. Ten students transferred here, and one was Adam. But could any kid hack into so many systems so fast? It's not humanly possible. Wait a sec. That voice we keep hearing doesn't sound human. Maybe our hacker isn't human. Jerry, we have ten suspects, but if you can run a check on... Later, Sam. Someone in Silicon Valley just used the internet to hack into a missile base on Guam. I'll send a jet to pick you up. Sergeant Clover relieving you, sir. General wishes to huh? see you on the double, sir. those missiles from launching! Get back! Uh-oh! I've seen that password before! Sorry, girls. You're not going to interfere this time. Excuse me now. I have some schools to fingerize. <gasps> We're running out of time! Oops. Clever, but all you've done is buy a few hours. I'll just infiltrate another silo. <gasps> and you're not going anywhere. Where's that instant metal freezer? <laughs> Let's get back to Silicon Valley. The only way to stop this is to find that hacker. Our suspects just narrowed to one. Adam's password is the name of his invention, Chad. What are you running? Oh, I ran those so-called exchange students through some databases. You mean Samantha, Alexandra, and... I mean Sam, Alex, and Clover. They're from Beverly Hills High. Those liars! Chad, I want you to mess their grades up so bad they get put back in kindergarten. No problem. Put on my virtual reality helmet, and you can see all our latest pranks. Wait a sec. I asked you to prank everyone, but you've been you've been hurting them instead. Coach Hassler and Principal Vegan and Brett. Yes, the ones who hurt us. They've been bad. They must be punished. And and now you're 
you're gonna fire missiles at all my old schools? You wish they could be destroyed, all those bullies and snobs. But I was mad when I said that. I just wanted to prank everyone, not, not hurt them. No, we're in this together now, Adam. We need to share your mind, your creativity, your body. You are right, Chad. Combined with your power, nothing on Earth can stop us. Target those schools and prepare for countdown. <laughs> picked up. The message says his father's out of town. Do you think Adam's setting a trap? Not Adam. That thing he invented. You said it yourself, Alex. The hacker is too fast to be human. It travels on the internet, controls other computers. That's the answer! Chad thinks for itself! An evil computer with a mind of its own! Ugh, that is so creepy! Oh. We have to pull Chad's plug at the source. We all set? Program Chad for home defense. So think stealth. Yeah! Yay! Whoa! Ah! <gasps> Busted! <laughs> Look out! Launching purse decoy! who almost destroyed us all. You didn't know what Chad was doing. I was just scared you wouldn't snap out of it. You think that was scary? In a few hours, we have to face Judge Mandy. Oh. Okay, whoa. This is contempt of court. Mandy, enough is enough. Tell me about it. I'll sentence them to huh? six weeks picking up trash. No, you <gasps> won't. You have utterly failed to enforce the dress code. You are off the student court. Oh, really? Well, if I'm not judge anymore, then I demand a new job. Uh, Mandy, you missed a milk carton. Mm. Yeah! 
Sour milk! Run! Ugh. 